welcome back to uh, the fucking sun. I need you to fuck off. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I made my moss witch hat and outfit. You might be thinking, a moss witch? Why, Jessica, a moss witch? The older I've gotten, the more I've realized that I really like to lean into bog witch aesthetic of just having crap tons of eclectic shit everywhere. Dopamine dapples upon the ridges of my wrinkly brain and I love it so much. There's also a little showcase with a little fun bikini, micro bikini moss garden showcase vibe that you can f see the full version, you know, blah, 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 the regular spiel. There are two wolves inside of me, a crafter and a whore. You have to deal with both like I do. The battle is constant and raging. Even if you don't dress up as like a moss witch or like a bog witch or whatever, you could still use this tutorial as like a kind of like a fun vibe for a hat or something and you could be your own themed witch. All right, without further ado, let's just jump into it. We start with the brim. Make a circle about the size you want to make your hat and then put a circle directly in the center for your brain to pop through like Mojo Jojo. This looks like those things that those guys wear in the barbershops to like separate their hair. Just oh, hi Phil. Next, the cone or the hat part of the witch hat. Make yourself a long ass cone too with the base fitting around your head to match the brim center circle. Use your choice of adhesive while adhering to the precautions they provide in the bottles to finalize your cone. I, uh, <laughs> my dimensions, so I added this little extra bit. Glue it all together and then give it that long cone seam. We have some guys doing our floors downstairs. <laughs> Ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just <laughs> I'm using her as a sound barrier. Okay. We are now ready to go over the garden wall. Take your brim circle and then mark out a slightly larger circle around that. Cut little notches all around so that you can insert the cone into the brim circle and glue it together. This will help reinforce it with that additional layer of EVA foam and you can just hide the extra bits with all the little details you're going to be adding to the brim of the hat anyway. Now you're looking like Doug Dimmadome, home of the Excalibur right now. So we need to add some wire to bend your shaft. This is why those horror movies where there's just a dark tunnel are so f***ing scary. I know what's at the end of this tip, but because it's dark even with a flash, I can't even see it! <laughs> Line your wire along the back seam of the hat and glue it down. This way, when we bend it over and back, it will go backwards instead of not backwards. Use some stuffing or some tissue paper to shove down into the hat cone to make it look stable and retain its shape during the bending process. That will fall... It's Oogie Boogie. Look, look, it's the fuck. Am I the only one who thought Oogie Boogie was like, <laughs> he's a bad boy with a dad bod? Well, 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 what have we here? <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> Once you're all done bending, shaping, and heating it with foam, it's time to plasti dip it. I would give this about three or four coats just to make sure that it really seals it in and you get a little bit more of a rigidness from the plasti dip sealant. Now, if I totally fucked this explanation, uh, please go check out SKS Props. Uh, Steve has made a full tutorial on this method, which is how I learned how to do this. And it's just better for brain soakage because it's Steve and he's just, he's got a free pattern and it's, it's just Steve. What a good guy. Ryan, I need you to record me sewing bias tape onto this foam hat because people need to know that you can sew onto EVA foam. Right on. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Wow. You can do what with bias tape? You can sew it. You can do, you can sew foam. Sew it. I'm sewing foam. Ryan. Yeah. Ryan. Woo. Ryan. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What an old. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna take this wire and I'm gonna fit it through so you have a poseable brim. Are you watching? I'm watching. Give me a kiss. Mm. <laughs> Do a good boy. Alright. <laughs> I wanna show this in your face. <laughs> Pinching this so it can go through the thing in here. That's what she said. Now that we have done this, the bias tape has a nice little gap, okay. so I'm able to feed it through. Uh -huh. Look at that. It's like those hentai where it's like you can see the... True. This is it. And then you cool. have a potable brim. Feed it through. 
Okay, you can see that. Once your wire is all up in there, I sealed up the fabric with some Mod Podge so I could paint over it. Now it's time to paint. I used powdered cinnamon mixed up in my paint to create an epic granulated texture similar to fleece or felt. The extra goodiness just helps add texture to your hat, which makes it look weathered and fucked. Since I was doing a moss witch, I went for a brown to green gradient, like a tree. Next was the best part, details. I have hoarded so many green things in my years of Jessica life, so I was able to just moss and leaf the ever-loving shit out of this thing. I added model moss, leaves, ferns, nests, eggs, little frogs, dirt, and bones. Just imagine like some moss bog witch and that's just what this ended up looking like. I found this old Ayla the Hunter's circle, gem, and bone hand for a nice little brim hat ornament. I also found these old school teeth bones from my Nidalee cosplay back in the day made by Venzi Props. Just gave them a new paint job and a little bit of craft bondage and we were good to go. I let go of holding back on details for this so I went hemulus sambulus and added gold puffy paint wood grain. We wait for the final reveal but for now the skirt. I had a lot of scrap green fabric I've been collecting since 2009 so I thought a patchwork green which core thrifty scrap vibe. This is taking a long time. I don't know if this was a good idea. <laughs> I'm already sick of this and I wish for it to end. I don't even know if it looks good. Oh, it's pretty cute. Maybe I'll do some stitching. I think adding gold puffy paint as the stitching really, really tied it in together. I wanted the outfit to match the hat a little bit more, so I added this brown panel that I pleated and then added some puffy paint to, along with some of this nice purple netting to really bring in that like layers of, of grange to this. I also made sure to weather and tatter up the very bottom of the dress to make it look like she's been tromping and scrompling through <laughs> the swamp a lot. Also, this is actually dust from the Ren Fair, so it actually Actually worked out really well. I also made a bra, but I completely forgot to record the process because but essentially, pray to your moss god, bleed a little, and piss into a nearby Cheeto bag, and boom, moss witch bra. Um, I also made a small patchwork micro bikini to shoot in, so um, yeah, here's the reveal. <laughs> Now you are part of the coven and you cannot leave. Moss is now the way of your life. If you watch this video and don't share it with anyone, you're gonna die. If you watch it and share it with a friend and they become a little moss witch, you'll be fine. It'll be fine. Make more moss witch friends. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and give it a... Oh my God, my skin is peeling like crazy. I just unravel <laughs> like Loki. Let me know if you're doing any Ren Fairs this year. Also, any recommendations because I want to go to more Ren Fairs in different parts of the country or parts of the world. Tell me about your local Ren Fairs, please. Or your LARP Fairs. I will also be posting the full mossy ludes to my fans and my, my moshy fans. If you end up making a cute little witch hat, please tag me, I wanna see. Thanks for watching, I appreciate you. I'm having a lot of fun making these videos. I made a hat, this is it. I made a hat and that's all. It smells like cinnamon, it smells like cinnamon. Do you like big goods? I do. There's poo poo on the ground. Do a little showcase. There's Eric, he's in town. He's in town. <laughs> Put on the spot. It's quite tough. <laughs> <laughs> Show us your powers. Pull my pants off. <laughs> Not those powers. Although I will partake in that wand. Nice. He's farting. He's farting right now and he's trying to bow staff it away. Don't tell them. <laughs> yeah, literally he looked it up. And <laughs> I'm prairie dogging. Oh, <laughs> there's a Get hands on my camera. Sarah was never an agreeable girl. Her tongue tells tales of rebellion. But she was so fast and quick with her. 
I forgot to vlog and now I'm four siders deep. What do we do when the world comes to us and offers us a proposition of life or death? We say, that's exactly what we say. I don't like when I drink, I become too existential. Captain's log. We have now had more than four meads. At least four. At least. At least four. Nothing's touching your leg, Eric. You're being paranoid. You need to relinquish your hold on life and live a little, you bitch. Let go of your earthly bonds, peasant. Um, okay. <laughs> what do we do with our lives? Uh, shall I take a seat upon my mouth? What? She said I could hit. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm absolutely shit faced. I'm three sheets to the wind. I won't remember recording this. Please let me hold it. Have one impure thought. All right, one go. Say that now. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's too much. <laughs> Suck it back in. <laughs> no. My skin. It crumples like a paper bag. I've got a fart so bad. <laughs> I'm in, lads. Fuck yeah. Big old nose ring. Let's go. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, the man could be your cousin? I think everyone should be <laughs> grabbed. Go on, continue. Don't hold back. I'm. <laughs> oh. All of your intrusive thoughts, let them out. I'm very grateful for Anime Studios making men that women appreciate these days. We got Gojo, Nanami, Kakashi, let's keep going. Please. <laughs> I don't want no more fucking Sasuke, Naruto, little fucking. What's wrong? You don't want any more boy heroes coming? Don't worry, we can. I need you. anime companies to understand that the demographic for anime is growing up, but we also need strong, sexy men for us to simp over. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> No, I'm trying to let me let me fucking hold on. Let me. Oops. <laughs> it's brewing. I can spill the whole thing out. Get in. Just try it. Just come, come fucking just get in. Just ow. Try it. Just get. <laughs> okay. We're wizards. <laughs>